Let's take a look at another text-based function. Now, I'm back inside the example where we talked about left, right, and mid functions. And something caught my eye. And maybe you, you caught it as well as you were working your way through the left, right, and mid functions. Looking at row number 19 within this list, we've got the SKU, AST2050995. Well, you know what? That value, that's a much larger value than the rest of the SKUs here. How many characters do I got there? I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I got 10 characters that make up that SKU. Well, you know what? All the rest of my SKUs here, they've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 characters. If we go through and count all of these, I believe that they're all 8 with the exception of number 19. Well, when I'm using the same left and right and mid functions that I've been using for all the rest of them, I'm grabbing the incorrect data. I guess for this one, I need the first three, which represent the uh, supplier. I need the middle three, 205, which represents the part number. And I need 0995 to represent the product code. So there's actually four characters that make up the product code this time. All right, well, how can I do this? I, I guess I, I could go to this specific calculation that I created, uh, equals right, A19, 2. I'm only grabbing two characters from the right-hand side of the cell, and I could change that to 4. No problem. I'm done, right? Let's, let's just do that. Change that from a 2 to a 4, hit my enter key, and there we go. All right, I'm happy. Everything looks good. 0, 995. Okay. But... That was me manually having to go through the calculations, actually go through the SKUs, check for those ones that contain more or less characters, and manually update the formula to reflect the difference. Ah, uh, you know, we could do that for a handful of records, but you get in there with, you know, 50 plus, hundreds, thousands of records, and all of a sudden you're spending all day long going through and manually picking apart these SKUs to find the ones that need to be different. We need to accommodate for this in our formula. I want Excel to do this. Anytime I can get Excel to do the work for me, I'm game. Get Excel to do it. Don't, don't do this manually. Let's take a look. There's a function that I'm going to introduce you here called LEN. L-E-N. And it's short for length. It's going to tell us its sole purpose, the sole purpose of the lin function, is to tell us how many characters are in a cell. Take a look. So I'm going to scroll back up here. And I'm going to create a new column here, just into the H column. And we'll just call this num chars, number of characters. Let's make that a little wider. All right. So now... I'm going to create this formula, and this is a super simple one. I'm inside of H3. I'm going to go to Formulas, go back in the text, and I'll find the one called Len, or Length. All right, it wants to know one thing. This is why it's so simple. One thing. It wants to know where the text is at. Well, for me, the first row, it's inside of A3. I'll hit OK, and this returns the number of characters, length the length of characters within that cell, in this case within the A3 cell. There's eight characters. Well, let me copy that down. I'm just gonna double click on that little autofill box in the corner. There it is, eight, 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 oh, there's 10. Number 19, that's the one we were talking about, right? 0995, that one has 10 characters while the rest of them have eight. This is the len function, very simple one. It returns the number of characters from a cell. This could be used for validation. This could be used, hey, we're trying to gather phone number information from people, or, for, or we're trying to gather social security information from people. You know, some type of value that's set in size. You give me your social security number, your credit card number, I know how many characters are inside of those, those values. So make sure that it's 10 or 16 or 12 or however many characters. We can quantify that and make sure that we're collecting the correct number of values. 
So there's multiple reasons we could use this, but in this case, I need to accommodate for this. So here's, I'm going to give you a homework assignment. And I want you to jump into the discussion board within this course and help us out. How can we use that len function? Okay. Use that in combination with something that we talked about earlier in this course. Okay. It's way, way earlier. We talked about it in one of the first videos in this course. How can we use this function len and one of the other ones we talked about earlier to help accommodate for differences? Okay, give you a hint. If it's eight characters, then we should do it this way. But if it's 10 characters, we should do it this way. Think about that for a moment. How can we accommodate for this and get Excel to do it for us? You're gonna take two functions, merge them together, nest them, and get Excel to do it for you. So jump into the discussion board, right? Leave some comments in there. Let us know how you would do it. Huh? Now, as we start getting some comments, I'll, I'll throw my own two cents in there as well. But I want you to think about this. How can you do it? Go.